Last year's wheat crop in Louisiana was devastated by scab disease. Its lingering effects are still being felt as farmers have drastically reduced acreage this year. LSU Ag Center wheat specialist Boyd Paget says Louisiana has about 60,000 acres of wheat this year, a significant decrease from the typical 200,000 acres. It just left a bad taste in growers' mouths. They did not want to plant wheat. Uh, they were skittish. Combine that with low commodity prices, quite frankly, probably would not have planted wheat as well. Paget says the year following a severe outbreak of scab disease, crops are at risk of having a reoccurrence. He said fungicides offer limited control and recommendations are to apply them by ground spray rigs, which is difficult when fields are wet. You can expect with a perfect application about 50% suppression. So if you back up and put it out by air, it's even going to be less. With wheat prices low, farmers must consider the potential value of the crop to both the fungicide and the application cost. If you're growing wheat, you need to make money. And you need to recoup your application costs plus some more. So it's, it's, not a, it's not a good scenario. While not a major crop in Louisiana, there are benefits for farmers to grow wheat. It's grown as a cover crop. So it conserves soil moisture, builds organic matter, and, also, and that's in addition to growing the crop as a grain. So it provides additional income to producers year-round. According to Pageant, this year's crop is in fair to good shape, but it is now entering the growth stage where it is most susceptible to scab. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.